Hello and welcome to episode 20 of our Austria Alpha 5 Let's Play. It is November of 1762. We have 880 people in town, and last time we continued expanding all sorts of different things around town, but we've got one area in particular that we need to focus on today, and that is right here, this wedge, right at the entrance to our town. The uh, trade and all the immigration comes from this little green square right here. So our idea that we had was to kind of create a secondary production and trading area right here and put in, of course, a trading post, easily accessible, and then also some warehouses, some other housing, and some production stuff along the side here. Now, it is November, so these fields that are currently being uh, removed of trees are not really... I guess the first priority we should have for construction right now or the boathouse boatyard so i think we can just kind of leave that alone for a little bit but we are going to put some trees in along the back side of this to create kind of a, a little barrier here we'll start all the way here in the corner and then we'll just keep going all the way up there we'll save that for later though i didn't want to get that one tree in I'll do that during a time lapse so we're not bored to tears watching me do this uh, for five straight minutes trying to line everything up. But I digress. Let's go ahead and put in our trading post. I like the idea of having this uh, little tower on the outside here. Actually, let's try first. Put a bunch of warehouses in. Kind of right next door to it. Leave a little bit of space. But if we put a couple of warehouses right here for some of our more common items that we end up trading, this isn't in the exact right spot. So I am going to uh, place that. There we go. Just line this up a little bit better. There we go. So we have four there. I put our trading post in. Oh, that almost fits perfectly. I'm going to put this in just about as close as it will let me get. Those trees will get removed, so don't worry about them. If we put that right there. Then this can be kind of our little trade plaza. And we can have a fence come in. Again, once this is actually... Oh, it's not going to let me place in the exact spot. I, was, I thought it was going to tell me. Yeah, there it is. So we can actually just go ahead and put a fence right on the outside here. And just leave that there. So we have some sort of an idea. There. So if we have our trade post here, a couple of these warehouses right there, we can have some other stuff on the side here, like production. And then line this with trees and maybe put in some other houses as we get closer. So what's going to happen is these guys will come in. Is that straight? Eh, not perfectly, but that's more for visual aid than anything else. They'll come in here. They'll either go to this trading post or they'll come all the way down to here and go down to that one. I think we want to try to incentivize them to come down to this one because it's more of a, uh, a main thoroughfare. But we'll see. We've got plenty for them to do plenty for them to take care of while we're in the middle of all of this. So what else we we're going to put over here was going to be all of the uh, other brewing and distillation options here. I'm not going to cram it right up next to the uh, entrance right here. But all these trees are kind of in the way, so it's, it's going to kind of be one of those things where we have to uh, just kind of let them naturally take care of stuff. We do have a forestry right here, forestry in this game, excuse me. Bouncing back and forth between four different games in the past two days. You can uh, lose sight of what is actually called what. But what I'd like to do is to put trees all along here and then use this as a wall to put some of this other production on. Just kind of leave a little buffer here. Maybe have some of the stuff clustered on this side, but not right up against here. I want to create kind of like a little park or something right here with some benches, gazebos maybe possibly a chapel even, to kind of welcome people to the town. 
Uh, our town hall obviously is all the way down here, and I don't think we can build another one. I haven't tried, though. Oh, no, there it goes. can only have one town hall. So that would uh, pretty handily stop that from happening. But this is all in the queue. They're building the boatyard right now. That will be kind of useless by the time it's built because it's almost the end of November. But it will be used in the spring. And these fields that are currently being, well, cleared of all of their stuff will make plenty of use of those as well. And I think our uh, situation with planting stuff is also looking pretty okay. We actually have a surplus of barley for the first time ever, which is good because when we put this other set of uh, brewing stuff up here, that's really, really going to make a difference. So we can leave them to that for a little bit, come check out a couple other things in town, and then it'll be time-lapse time to place a whole bunch of trees and some other stuff and let them get to building all of this. Yeah, these fields are going to take a while. Still, we might get this one. These uh, 17 trees should theoretically be gone by March. You can see they've actually been coming over here so much when they have this path kind of etched into the ground coming from this forestry. But I don't want to build another one because we're still kind of short on labor, which is hilarious considering how many houses we built, how many row houses especially. So that kind of begs the question, do we want to put more row houses up here? I think I kind of like the idea of putting row houses right along here, possibly. But I don't know if right at the very edge of the map, if that would really make sense. But we already have a couple here. We have all these warehouses and we have all these farms. This is going to be a field right here. So if we were to put row houses kind of right here, I think that might, might make sense. Just to kind of keep development in a specific area. And we do have, over here, we do have bricks already stored. We've got wood, we've got firewood, and we also have stone. Well, we don't because we haven't imported any. Do we actually have any? Uh, okay, we have 3,600. So I was actually thinking we probably could. Well, we have 15 of these three-story row houses. Wow, we built a, we haven't built any two-story with arches, huh? This is definitely our favorite one. But I think we have the market right here, so we don't need another one with a, uh, a thing in there. But I think I'm going to go ahead and queue a couple of these up as well. Probably start uh, maybe right about here. Keep things kind of uh, kind of organized. I don't know. That's kind of a kind of a not completely straight thing. I guess it doesn't really matter. But we put that guy right there. We can put another one right next door. Mix in a couple of these two stories. Actually, I'll put the two-story on the end here. Put that one in place, and then I think, just because we can, might as well go ahead and put in a uh, one with a store. Just one, though, because we have everything else already. And then right here, we can put another one. That's just two to kind of cap things off. So that's five row houses, mind you. Five in a row right here. And then on the end of this, we'll put in some other stuff, maybe a couple of uh, benches, some stone wells. Actually, in terms of water supply, we should probably check that out while we're over here. Oh, okay, that's already full, so I'm not worried about that. We can add the wells in after the fact. I might actually just uh, stick a couple of these in convenient locations here. We'll put those two there, and then I'll put another two right here. Nope. There we go. So that's a very, very full building queue. Let's uh, see if we can call a messenger and get some more stone imported, because we're definitely going to need it. Uh, the brick people can also probably stand to make some more. Although they do have 17,600 in store, I think. Let's go ahead and uh, first of all, remember which one of these actually has bricks in it. We can overfill warehouses to kind of uh, game the system a little bit. It's this one on the end. So we can kind of uh, trick them into uh, thinking that they don't have any more bricks in here. 
by triple filling this warehouse on the end. Can't... Oh, they got wise to that. Because it's completely full. All right. Oh, consider me checkmated. I've used this exploit countless times in the past. Well, that kind of puts a damper on things, doesn't it? Oh, well. They do have 17,000 here. And to make one of these is 10. So we'd need a total of... Forty-five-ish? Mm, Forty-five thousand-ish? How many, uh... How many sets do they actually have? Uh, preparing for burning, they need charcoal, huh? Okay, charcoal is burning. So a batch is going to be a thousand bricks. So we're definitely not going to have that done, unless we have more storage for the bricks. What's in here? Batch, charcoal, metal parts, nails... Firewood, wood, flax, and hemp. Hmm. All right. Flax and hemp are banished, and we're going to put bricks in. <laughs> Let's put, put 5,000 bricks in here. And I don't think... Um, yeah, those are fine as they are. That's fine as it is. We need to do something else with this. These are all good to go. Well, that's too bad, because I was really looking forward to having a whole bunch of bricks stockpiled for this. Firewood, and you can't get rid of. We need that. Wood-wise, though, I think we have enough wood, but I also can't get rid of that. Bark probably doesn't need to be here, but I'm also not going to, you know, get it out of there. Now, this has alcohol in it. This has charcoal in it, clothing. Shoes is full of shoes. Let's change that to 5,000, and we'll put some more bricks in here. Just so we have storages. There is lime in here, though, which needs, I guess, its own place in the uh, thing here. We, we, oh, we can actually store this. It can actually be a real item. Huh. Well, we're going to need lime no matter what. Oh, I kind of don't want to call a messenger because I feel like we're going to get one anyway. Oh, what to do, what to do. These, of course, are all brand new houses we built last time. We can do more in here if we get through all of this. We might. So I guess what we'll have to do... I believe it was... Is it these guys that had the stone? We'll find out. We'll go to 12 times speed. We obviously can't trade with either of these guys because they're via river. And that's going to very quickly ice over in about uh, a week and a half. So we'll see if these are the guys that have the uh, the stone. I think they are. We'll just go ahead and buy a bunch of that. And then let things go how they're supposed to go. And then we'll plant all these trees probably in the snow and I'll probably complain about it. But <laughs> but what can you do? That's that's the season that's coming up. And that's what we're doing. Hey. Oh, 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 oh. We've got, we've got warehouses. These guys have... Oh, yes. I can buy 11,000 stone. Oh, I don't have that much money, though. Uh, I can buy that much. Definitely. Uh, um, and I can sell that. And I can sell... Oh, look at all the clothes we've got. Yeah, we can sell all that stuff, and then... Yeah, I've got 50 in export stock. We'll sell that, and then I can buy more stone. And then I think I can buy... Oh, lime is expensive. I think I can fulfill all that. I know I can fulfill the clothes, definitely. So we'll sell another thing of clothing, and then I think I can I can buy another five thousand of lime. That should the the money should balance out. But you see all these all these coming in here. Pretty soon they can just go right there for a lot of this. That's going to be very, very convenient. Right now they're kind of zigzagging their way through. But we'll make it so they either come here or go all the way down the middle right here and then come around into the trading post. But now that we have this, got these warehouses, we can actually turn these into uh, convenient holders of very, very useful things. Like 5,000 lime, 5,000 bricks. Very easily. 
This can be 5,000 firewood. And I actually don't have charcoal available, but something else that we'll need to use to build is just regular wood. Just have that on hand, just in case. Yeah, apply that to all of those. Don't need to have dedicated workers. Laborers will be fine. Anyway, so that is all good to go. The rate of uh, tree demolition is not inspiring here. For it to be late December and still have 14 trees left. Yeah, that's not, not looking great. And it's not like I can even mark the trees that are already... Oh. I can, can't I? Well, I guess I should have... Uh, should have been doing this the whole time, huh? Well, they'll get to it eventually. So. Yeah, let's sell some shoes. Always. Always sell shoes. We can sell a ton of shoes. Charcoal, we definitely should not be selling any. I should probably take that out of export stock, honestly. Apples, we can pretty much never sell too many of those. I think that should be okay for right now. Looking good, we have our third warehouse right here. Uh, we'll decide what ends up being exported here. I'm probably going to be clothing. So we'll do 5,000 of those there. And then uh, 5,000 shoes. Just to get those taken care of. And then I think now is probably about a good time to start doing one of those time lapses. So I'll plant all these trees. We'll watch some of this stuff get built. And hopefully by the time it comes around for planting season, that field will be available and we can start messing with it. But until then, we'll see you on the other side. All right, so it's the middle of March and uh, I ran out of space to put the trees as you could very clearly see. And they still don't have all these trees taken out in this uh, field plot right here. There's just these, I believe, four trees right here. That they are woefully behind in removing, so hopefully they can get that done soon. But we do have all four of our warehouses here. This trading post is waiting on two trees to be removed. That probably won't be now because of, uh, well, that stuff in the way. So we'll uh, see if we can get this taken care of get this field added to the rotation, get this trading post up and running, and then lapse through all of that. The good news is we now have all this storage slowly being filled up and our brickworks, if I can get to the right spot. Sheesh, where is it? Okay. They are making bricks, forming bricks, gathering raw materials and everything. The problem seems to be we don't have enough charcoal, although we do currently have... Oh, okay, never mind. I thought I was reading the next line over. I thought it was going to be a lot more charcoal than it was. We have a couple hundred, which is not enough. Well, let's get these guys to come in here and do these last two trees. Because we uh, can't do anything else until those are taken out. This whole thing is stalling based on that. But we still do have some time to plant. If they can get over here and... Uh, take care of all of that. Right, buying food, going to work, going to work, going to work, going to work. Okay, well, yes, you're coming to get a log. Is it going to be one of these? I sure hope so. Let's find out. Yes. Yes, now there's just one tree. Just one tree. It's probably going to be a couple logs, though, because it's a big one. All right, so what are these guys doing? They're planting a tree. Stop planting a tree. Don't plant trees. Go cut trees. At least he lives right next door. Yeah, all these trees. I ran out. I couldn't put any <laughs> Couldn't put any trees here because it treats these berry bushes as trees themselves. So I guess we'll only have our trees here, which is uh, unfortunate to say the least. Come on. I just, I just need... Two guys to come get one tree. 
before the end of May so I can actually plant this. Come on, I've been waiting like three in-game years for this. This poor field over here is never going to get done. All right, here comes some guys. Yes. All right, finally. <laughs> now, what were we going to plant here? I actually don't remember. So let's check our farm out. We've got a full rotation of the sunflowers, the flax, and the fallow. We've got plenty of barley. Um, I guess this one needs to be... Probably needs to be wheat, if we're being uh, honest here, because we are out of wheat. We have plenty of barley, so... Got wheat, wheat, flax, and fallow here and here, so if we turn that into the same thing, then this would be good to have on the second thing of wheat. And let them uh, go ahead and start plowing that. Which I think is still in the season for plowing. Looks like it is. Excellent. My computer fans are absolutely losing their mind. Hopefully the game does not crash. All right. I guess we have to babysit our forestry workers and have them actually come and uh, remove these trees. Although I think they were already on their way to get this one. Yeah. All right. So as, as soon as this is done, then we are golden good to go. We are continuing to store bricks for our construction projects here. So how are... Yeah, looking good. They just need more charcoal, which is good that there's something right outside here. And come to think of it, we probably actually want to have another charcoal pile here if we can fit one. Yeah, we'll just stick that right there. Because these guys definitely, definitely need it. Actually, can I fit a third one? That is kind of in a bad spot, so maybe uh, maybe we don't do that. Or I can just rotate it. 90 degrees. And then put another one right next door. And hit that supply. Hit that supply. There we go. Now we've tripled our firewood supply near the brickworks. That's looking good. We got the one more tree to come fell before they can build the trading post. It looks like all the resources are collected, so it should be in good hands. And I think this is, uh, no, that's a guy with a wagon. They're all, okay, so he's waiting for a partner. Oh, but now he's waited too long, so he has to go home and sleep. Yeah, I know, waiting is uh, exhausting, man. So they're all taking a rest, and they're all... So now, now we got a problem. Okay, here, here they come. These two guys. Come chop that tree. Get that thing out of here. All right, now they can actually build this thing. In the meantime, um, yeah, I'm not going to sell any of that. Uh, mead. Absolutely, I'm going to buy as much mead as I can. Let's do fifteen thousand. And we can watch them build this trading post in the process. They're actually building the row house at the same time. I didn't think they did that. In fact, they actually shouldn't be doing that. Oh, what do you think? Is this more interesting than the trading post? Or did they just start this because they knew they couldn't do anything over here? Well, now I am very curious. In fact, it should be pretty quick for them to do this since they have all the materials on site once they get enough guys there. They're going to take their sweet time, though, aren't they? So while they're doing that, let's uh, check out what we're going to move over here. I, like I said, I think I'm going to move the uh, actual production, the clothes and the shoes. At least the clothes and the shoes. 
I think we can stop exporting charcoal. Clothes and shoes can go up there as well as the alcohol. So this is just going to be food based down here. Clothes, shoes, alcohol. As soon as this is ready to go. It is fun to just watch them though. So we have clothes and shoes. Then this can turn into beer and Harilka and mead storage. Although I think mead only comes in from the river traders. So maybe we'll just do beer and Harilka here. Yeah, there we go. I do wish they'd go a little faster with us. But there's not too much left. I guess they have started cutting some trees here because this was 69 trees that had to be removed. Now it's at 67. Still going to take me at least another year to do it, which is very, very unfortunate. Right, let's see. I'll gladly sell some more shoes to these guys. They are, after all, the number one patrons of our shoe empire. And clothing as well. That's looking good. Dried fish. Yeah, we can buy some dried fish. We should be making more of it, but we, uh, we don't have very much. And I'm going to buy some more lime, too, because we'll need that. Should be fine. The good news is these guys are just about finished. Once they put up these two little uh, structures right here. And then we can get this all set, ready to go. And watch them build some row houses, because that's why we're really here, right? All right, this trading post is done. Let's take this off at triple speed. All right, we'll hire a manager. Go ahead and uh, just take care of that. Uh, yeah, that's probably fine. We're going to export, again, beer. And clothes. And Harilka, and uh, where is... There it is, shoes. We'll start with those. 2,000 of each. Alright, so that should hopefully fix some stuff. We don't have anybody working here quite yet. But that should end up uh, resolved pretty quickly. Yep, we have a manager. All right, so now let's have another time lapse where we watch and build some row houses and we'll check in at the end and see where we are. Finally, December of uh, 1763, we have our five row houses all done, ready to go. Now they're going to go ahead and build our stone wells. And our trading post is slowly being stocked up. It does take quite a while. So why don't we help them out a little bit and put in a cart shed and a wagon shed up here. See if we can find a nice spot for those. Not sure if I want to entirely kind of box this whole area in or not. Probably wouldn't be the worst thing ever. This field is going to take a thousand years to get built at this rate. What if we put the cart shed there and then a wagon shed might fit nicely right next door. Actually, probably could go just like that. And then we'll put in a uh, hay barrack right next door. And then on this side, some nice benches for everybody to sit down and enjoy, well, sitting down. There we go. 
I think uh, stone-wise we should... Uh, oh, we have plenty. Plenty to build all of this. Still look all right. We need to add some more burial plots, definitely. But now we have... We still have open vacancies. I can't believe it. After all these are filled. We have the store here that needs to be uh, populated with items. And there it goes. Looks good. We probably could have built another one with a store in it. And we might yet, anyway. Because we have a little bit more room down here. I'm excited for these corner houses that got teased in a recent tweet. Maybe we get those soon, maybe we don't. I don't know. But we will definitely be putting those to use. I'm glad this field got done, though. 41 trees before uh, the end of planting season. I just... Uh, I don't see it happening. I don't think it's very... Uh, very realistic, but we do have our trees here that are looking nice, and there are the other things we wanted to stick in this way as well, like our distillery and our brewery, which we will line up maybe uh, maybe actually on the other side of all this might be a, might be a smart thing to do. Set that right there, and then yeah, the brewery right next door probably would be smart. Or maybe we could put some uh, some storage in the middle. That's probably the uh, the better way to uh, utilize space. Just put in... Maybe three of these. Yeah, that sounds good. Then the brewery can go right next door. Actually, can I fit a fourth? I think I might be able to. Yeah, let's uh, let's put that in. All right, and then right next door, the very edge. Oh, that is choice. We are going to very slightly angle this so it fits. And then I think that's going to be all good to go. Now this is uh, going to create kind of a. Uh, a little funnel here. We might actually want to... Yeah, I'm going to move that. I'm going to move it in. Then also move that. I know. I know we just built this, but I, I didn't realize the scale of everything else we'd be doing would be as severe as it was. I guess the game is performing calculations. That's better than just freezing. Thank you for letting me know. Anyway, brewery right here. I'm thinking uh, now that we have this, this would be real nice to have a couple different kind of parks here or maybe maybe a couple more row houses even I don't know but I know this area like right here definitely needs to be some sort of a park or like a nature type thing now our uh, wagon shed I'm gonna have to get the grid back over here for that but I think that might actually be better served right on the back side of this and then see what else might fit here. We could maybe put some clothing production stuff. Might actually be smart. So let's do that. Get them to get some more of these trees out of here. I know that's their favorite thing ever. But we put the wagon shed there. Then right next to that we can put hay barracks. Or maybe we want to uh, actually leave this out a little bit. I don't know, they're not going to get this, tr this tree, the fields of trees cleared before then. But the cart shed here will work just fine. Breweries will be nice to have those. Is this already over full? Yeah, it sure is. I wonder how that happened. But having these cart shed and then the wagon shed here will really help. Especially transportation to and from. All of our trading happening. And we'll make this look a little better, too. All right, go ahead and order some carts. And hire some workers. We, we still have open vacancies, despite having 80 more people than we did at the beginning of the episode. Ugh. What a time, huh? Well, that's fine. Now we have some more 
stuff to watch get built at risk of having too many time lapses in one episode. But as some of you have said, this has slowed down quite a bit and it is a little bit more engaging when it doesn't take an hour and a half to have all this stuff happen. So we'll go ahead and watch them build the rest of this stuff and then we'll put it in motion and probably say goodbye for today's episode. But anyway, we'll see you on the other side. All right, finally, this is all done. We'll get this set up just like we did the other one. Set it to use charcoal, all that good stuff. Make sure that's applied uh, like that. So it's going to need barley, hops, and drinking water. So this one is going to be set, of course, to hold hops at 10,000 apiece. And then we'll just go to the first warehouse and copy all these settings again. And there we go. So our new brewing area is, in fact, almost ready to go. Cart shed is cart shedding. This is still not fully stocked, but it will be soon. And all this is going to need is to have everything supplied appropriately. We're not going to have them eat barley, don't worry. We're not that dumb. Let's see, horse tech, we could have them have quite a bit more than that. There we go. And then once this gets fully staffed, then we'll order some wagons. We are, of course, going to have to have hay barracks over here. And I was going to try and figure out exactly where those needed to go. And then I figured, you know what? Let's just pull one of those and put it right there, right outside. So that's the only building over here that's going to need that. And we can maybe put in some more production for clothing and stuff over here. Although I think... I think we're probably fine on that front for right now. We should be more worrying about what we're doing with all the wool we have. We have almost 19,000 we haven't spun or done anything with. But hey, look at all this. We can sell... Uh, we can sell 3,550 shoes. So guess what? I'm going to sell 3,550 shoes. I can sell 3,540 clothes. Guess what? I'm going to sell 3,540 clothes. I'm mm, not going to sell any of this just quite yet. Because we don't have that fully uh, figured out yet. Okay, this is stocked appropriately for horses, so we're going to order those. Come on down here to our stable. And uh, I guess we can start breeding these again. We'll turn these three into draft horses. And they're going to be all good to go. As soon as the carpentry gets a hold of them, at least. And here we are once again in November. I think this is uh, now three different years we've had in this episode. But look, we're making uh, we're making alcohol here. We're making alcohol here. We have our supplies and our finished products all right here. Well, as soon as they get filled up, that is. There you go. And we have a hay barrack right here also. I love to see that. We're going to have to, I'm sure grow some hay locally, or at least have people deliver it. And there we go. I think those are already set. Should be, uh, should be okay. I think over here is where we're getting most of it from anyway. Yep, it's all harvested, ready to go. I think we can consider this a pretty good success, don't you? We do need some more fulling mills, though. We only have two over here, and there's quite a lot of wool in storage that has not been run through these yet. So just before we say goodbye this week, this week, today, we do more than one of these in a week. I am tired. I've had a very busy weekend. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do <laughs> two live streams and two videos the whole weekend, but we will, uh, we'll see what we're able to get done here. I'm going to put two more fulling mills in. Uh, those won't get built until sometime next episode. 
let's take a moment here and uh, check out how this whole area looks like. Look at the uh, look at the improvement we have. Just adding some stuff in here really fills it out a little bit. Plus all of these row houses and everything. And the store is doing excellent numbers here. So all in all, very productive episode. Lots of good stuff to look forward to. We, of course, are going to continue having this uh, area develop. I do think it's interesting how we have uh, this kind of a uh, radiation on the ground almost. I don't know why that's there. Is that from the trees? I don't know. Where else on the map does it do that? I guess around certain plants. Yeah, because these are bushes. Yeah, it's around the bushes. So maybe that's supposed to represent falling uh, things off the bushes. Yeah, that, that's got to be what that is. Interesting. I never really, uh, never really noticed that. Anyway, that is all the time we have for today. I don't know how long this is going to be once I condense all the time lapses down, but I've been recording for quite some time. It would be the longest Ostrich episode I've ever posted if I did this unedited. So I'll get to that and I'll let you guys get on to whatever else you have going on in your day. As always, I really appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch these and uh, interact with the comments. So please always feel free. Let me know what you think. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, uh, just want to say hi, want to roast me or drop a joke or whatever in the comments. Always, always appreciated because I really like interacting with the community and you guys are a great one. So I look forward to that and I look forward to seeing you again more this week for more videos. Of course, we have Timberborn again tomorrow, back to Ostrov on Wednesday and so on and so forth. We got some fun stuff lined up coming soon, so hopefully you'll stick around. But until then, have fun, stay safe, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.